In this video, I'll be talking about nodes and the two different nodes that could occur in a in, in a specific orbital. So let's define a node. What a node is first. So nodes. A node is basically a region. So region where the wave where, where the wave function has a value of zero. So where wave function can you help myself? I'm sorry. <laughs> the wave function has a value of zero. And wave function is usually represented with the symbol psi, c. Uh, people call it differently, but it's like that. It's like a trident, pretty much. So, a region where the wave function has a value of zero. That's a node. And well, we can have two different types of nodes, something we call a radial node, which is pretty much a circle, so like, there we go, two radial nodes, uh, or we have angular nodes. Which are real planes, but you just represent them with like, Line, so they're usually like an X, but it could get like three radial nodes, three angular nodes. Sorry, so each line represents one angular node, and then the fourth one, and so on. And just so you can have some math out of it, uh, the total number of nodes, so total number of nodes. will be equal to n minus 1 so if we have a, a energy of 2 a, a principal quantum number of 2 it's going it's going to have one node and this this represents both radial and angular so it's the total number total so in the case it has let's say 4 it, it may have two angular nodes and two radial nodes or any other case and coming back to each of the type of nodes, the number of radial nodes will be so number of radial nodes. I'll call it R n. So will be equal n minus l plus one. N being the principal quantum number and l being the the secondary quantum number, our second quantum number. And for to, um, for the number of angular nodes, we'll call it a n. We'll have L. So those are our two equations for each of the cases. So just so you can visualize it better, I found this picture. So here you can see it kind of like it's kind of blurry, but you can see in this area, let's say, there's a radial node there, so it's circular as you can see, and it becomes kind of like whitish because the wave function is zero. So using our equations, we there you can see that there are no angular nodes, there is no like x coming out through here. So that that will not matter in this case, so we'll just use radial nodes for the equations. And well because there is no angular nodes, you can just use the total number of nodes to know how many nodes there is. So it's just going to be n minus one. In this case, n is 1, so we'll have 0 nodes. The n, n is, no, I meant num number of nodes, just write like that. It'll be 0, and you can see that there's no like whitish, white like circle. In this case, it's 2, so it'll have 1 node, and you can see it right here, that circle. And using the same logic, that's going to be 3, so it's going to have two nodes, and there they are. There, and there. And finally, so you can think of angular nodes, not just radial nodes. I wasn't able to find a picture of it, so I'll have to draw it. And so we'll have two angular nodes. 
and let's go with two radio modes. I'm sorry for those circles, but that's the best I can do. Uh, so it says that our n is five, and the first question is how many nodes it has in total, so number of total nodes, so let's say Tn, and what is the L value? Just from that, from this drawing, just from this drawing, and the n equals 5. So the total, the number of total nodes will be n minus 1, so that's pretty simple, that will be 4, and well, you can just count them. There's two radial and two angular, so that's four. And for the L, we'll use our equations for our equation for for, for radial nodes, which is the one that's a little bit more complicated. So n minus L plus one. That's in parentheses. So we want that. We want this L. And I'm just using this equation just to show you, just to show you how it works. You can just use the the one with angular nodes and just count that there are two. So this will be L and this will be two because of this and this. But just to do it twice, we the, we can see that there are two real nodes, so that's going to be two. The n is equal to five. And then we have minus L minus one if you take out the parentheses. So L will be equal to 2. It's 4 minus 2, just inverse the sign, and that's it. L is 2, and we have 4. But yeah, you can just, just look at the picture and count how many nodes there is and just use that as an actual value. And if you found this video helpful, like it and share it with your friends.